Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee Mama Bruce. He's very athletic, has a ton of natural quickness. You can see it in the way he moves around the octagon. He's got fast feet and a lightning quick jab. He's a very difficult guy to counterfight. As soon as you see the shot coming, he's tagged you. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has incredible takedown defense. Out of all of the fighters in the UFC, he's amongst the most difficult to get to the mat. And now our kill of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's easy. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Spokane Valley, Washington, Russia. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. No, oh, the left leg goes high. Oh, he lands that another kick to the head. More great kicks from him here. Effective strike there by Lee. Lands with the right hand. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. And he connects there. Just misses there with the left. 
Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line. The one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Nice jab. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. He just landed an outstanding leg kick. Nice jab. Slips the shot. Now connects with a right. Just over three minutes to go. And he eats a kick. These guys are swinging. We cross the midpoint in round one. There he swung with a haymaker. And he connects with the punch there. Beautiful inside leg kick. Slips the punch. Lee gets touched by that jab. That was a stiff one too, Joe. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh! Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it. So let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Straight right, he misses. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Huge uppercut misses. Hit him with the jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh! Clean with the right hook. Watch the shot here, Joe. And he eats a right hand there. Big kick, but miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, he landed it. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. And he lands the roundhouse. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice hook. Oh, big right hand, yes. Swung for the fences with that hook, oh, but he misses. Oh. Round two is next. Here's a perfect head kick. Here we see a beautifully timed kick connects flush. And another perfectly placed strike. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Get some water. Take a drink. All right. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. Second round underway. 
All right, so second round underway. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at that. Nice. Really missed with that right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Great shot, great shot. Good defense there. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of there. Tags him. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Wow! He's got him hurt here. Big shot! Oh! Back up. Oh, huge shot there. a stiff jab there and it again lands exactly at the intended target and defensively Joe his approach here is leaving a lot to be desired he's got to figure out a way to move that head and get it off of that center line just over three minutes now to go big punches Very nice. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Constantly a moving target. Oh, left eye starting to close up, Joe. Not good. He got tagged there. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Oh, Big shot to the head, he's stunned. This could be it right here. That oh, one appeared to stun him. Oh. oh, beautiful combination. Nice leg kick. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big oh, right hand. Nailed him with the right hand. Big straight punch. Oh, very nice. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Axe kick. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. And he connects there. Look at that, right oh. to the temple. This could be it. Slips the punch. He missed that kick. Finds his range with the jet. Just missed with the left there. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh! What a fight so far. 
And there's the horn. Huge knockdown in that round. Great round from Lee. Huge knockdown and a big moment in that round. Here we see it from another angle. And here's a different angle on it. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen. You can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. They continue to exchange. Well, he misses with the left punch there. How about that chin? Slightly deflected. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here, though. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. All right, so another strike to the body there. And Joe, we've seen in the later stages of this fight, not only an uptick in the aggression, but also in the body work. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Blocks the shot. Wow. Beautiful jab. Beautiful jab. Sharp timing. And a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Three minutes. Good exchanges from both fighters. Looks like it did stop a little bit. He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Slips to avoid the right. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, he got clipped to the body there, Joe. Left his midsection wide open. He's become a little bit susceptible to that shot by almost leaning in, moving into his opponent's offense. Not a good look there. Oh, a huge block there. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh! He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. Under two minutes now to go. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He is in trouble. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Lee's so strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Going to the body there with the right kick. How does he even put any weight on that leg? Look at the bruise on the outside of his thigh. Thought there might be an opening for the punch there, Joe. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. 
Rips the body there. Hand speed, man. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Clean spinning back. Oh, he tagged him. He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste is here. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Well, just... Oh! oh he's getting hit! tonight caught the opponent flush with full force and extension and frankly there was no chance after that the fight was over as soon as that one made contact certainly one for the highlight reel here tonight take a look at this from a different angle ba boom well what a moment for him here tonight a huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages that is one they'll be talking about for some time Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.